Hello, my name's Linda. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator, and I'm making a card for the Ink Stamp Share Vlog Hop. And um, it is the spring summer catalogue. That is the theme of this of this month. And I'm using the Geared Up Garage because I really love this set. Um, and I'm also going to be using some of the paper from the um, Geared Up Garage suite. That's really lovely. And I'm going to be using the Stamparatus, and I've also pulled these out. These are from the new um, Spring Summer catalogue, and these are stitched rectangle. No, they're not. They're the rectangle stitched framelits. Aren't they fantastic? Now I'm go I'm using three of them, and these are the three I'm using. So not the biggest, but the next three. So I put those to one side as well. And I'm going to get my Stamparatus in, and that is what we're going to be using. And here it is. So I have pre-cut a card base. So this is just a piece of A4 cardstock that I've cut in half. And I'm going to be having it this way today, so it's going to be opening like this. So I'm going to place that in. And I have also cut out a piece of Whisper White cardstock that I want to go there so let me just turn it around this way makes a bit more sense so this is going to be the front of our card so I'm just going to put a magnet on my card base so that doesn't move oh these are very very strong these magnets and then I'm just going to line this up okay and then I'm going to be bringing the car so this is the car from the um, set and I want this to go at the top in the middle so there's that lovely car and then I've also got the you're a classic which I want to go underneath and then I'm going to just be using um, some black ink so I'm going to be using the um, memento ink for this Close it and push down. There we go. I'm just going to ink up, ink that up again. As this is the beauty of the Stamparatus, Stamparatus. If it doesn't stamp the first time, you can do it again. And I'm just going to do that again just on the sentiment, it's not really dark enough for me ok so now I'm happy, so now I'm going to take this piece away but I'm not moving my base and I'm going to stamp this again so I just want the car actually, I don't need this one so I'll take that off I'm going to make sure it's stamped nicely because this is the image that we're going to be seeing on the front of our card. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So we can take that off. There we go, and I'll put that to one side. So now I want to colour my car in as coming and close and I'm just going to be using um, some of my blends and I'm going to have a red car and then I'll, as soon as I finish colouring it I'll come back so I've coloured my car in I've just done some pretty basic colouring there I haven't done any shading I've just used real red, pool party and the um, light smoky grey there smoky slate and also on the one that we, we um, stamped I am using the die that goes with um, the geared up garage and I'm just cutting that out there so this is going to go over the top so the car is underneath so we don't need that anymore and also I'm going to get the paper out and this is the um, piece of paper that I chose out of my 
um, geared up garage DSP which is, comes um, 6x6 it's really really lovely paper and I'm going to stick that and if you, actually I've cut a piece out so using the smaller rectangle I cut the middle out making sure that my white piece is going to cover the, um, the gap so that's why I've used a smaller one and then you can use this for another card so um, what I'm going to do next is stick this on here I'm just going to use a piece of some Tombow for this Oops. right so I'm just going to stick this to the front of my card uh, you know I hate doing this I hate putting paper on the, right on the front of my cards because I find it tricky tricky to do I've not done that brilliantly. I'm going to have to trim it down, but it's stuck. Okay, and then this is going to go on here, and I'm going to pop it up. So I've got some dimensionals. Okay, so I've I've actually um, nearly forgot to put these on. Now I cut these cogs out from the um, from the geared up geared up garage bundle and I want it and I've cut them out of silver foil and on the back of them I've used the multi-purpose adhesive sheets so that um, they're sticky and I'm just going to put them at the edges there so this one can then go on top and they will just be poking out I think that could go over a little bit and I'll push that down. You can actually reposition if you're using the adhesive backed um, sheets. You can reposition them before you really push them down. So you can lay them down, and then once you're happy, push them down hard, and they will be permanent. So I need to take all the backing off of here. And while I'm doing this, I want to remind you that it's celebration at the moment. So if you spend forty-five pound, you will be able to order or you'll be able to receive a free item from the celebration catalogue so that is good it's a good deal so pop along to my blog and you'll see the information there I think if you actually bought this bundle you'd have that you'd have enough then to um, get a free item okay so now this bit you need to get it straight before you put it down so you need to make to line it up with your car it's really hard to do because I can't look right over I don't want to put my head in the camera let's see if I can get my head next to the camera okay I'm gonna go for that it's not too bad okay so and that is the front of our car done Okay, some of you might have remembered that I had this um, other rectangle that I cut out. I hope it's light enough in here. Do you know, I had to move because it was so sunny, and now it's not so sunny. And I'm going to decorate this as well. So I'm going to be using, I'm still using the um, Geared Up Garage. Whoops, could have been a disaster there. And I'm just going to stamp the edges of this rectangle. And then I've got a few of these little bolts that I'm going to stamp. There we go. And um, I have a sentiment as well, so all geared up to celebrate. I'm going to put that in the middle there. And then I've got my real red. Whoa, keep dropping everything. And I have the little oil can here, and I'm just going to pop that in the corner there okay let me let me put the lid on this as I seem to be a bit accident prone today so um, the card that we made when you open it you can see where we have done our ink and because this is a whisper white cardstock I didn't have any thick left if you got thick it would be better I knew that that was going to be there so I've deliberately made this so this can go over the top there so I'm going to stick that on to cover up because it will just because we're using the blends 
but they do bleed. They bleed through the paper. Uh, get that nice and straight. Okay, so that is the inside of our card. And now one more thing I'm going to do on the outside. I have the little um, classic garage metal elements. Um, I'm really not wearing the right glasses. Let me put my reading glasses on. That's better. And you get um, you get these little keys and you get these little spanners. And they're cute, really cute. And I'm going to use the key today and I'm just going to stick that next to my sentiment there and I have found that the um, fine tip glue is perfect for this it's nice and strong and you can just stick it on because it's nice and fine tipped and there we go I'm just going to stick that there now the idea is you you must not move that you need to leave that to dry for five or five to ten minutes and um, then it will not move it will be it sticks very well and there you go the card is finished with a lovely car that's sort of inside the um, layer and the nice layer I don't want to turn it over because my key might fall off ah, and there we go and there's the inside as well and that stayed on I hope you enjoyed watching this um, this little video don't forget to hop along with everybody else in the ink stamp share vlog hop Thanks for watching. Bye.